What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about a factory Ford install for your 17 and up Super Duty from my man, Limitless Auto Works. If you guys are interested in lighting like I am, check this video out. All right guys, let's get these installed. What is up everybody? Welcome back. Quick install for you guys who do not have the LED bed lights on your truck from the factory. If you guys don't know, light goes there, light goes there, and this is where the switch goes. If you guys can, please check out LimitlessAutoWorksLLC.com. His information is in the description where he has a bunch of this stuff for sale. Uh, we have a professionally made harness. Wait till you guys, not only is the packing impeccable, the quality of the harness and how everything is made, you guys are gonna be blown away. We are gonna need three Ford parts. This is the part number for the switch. This comes in his kit. Comes with two factory LED lights and his wonderful instructions that we are going to follow. Now, I'm gonna tell you guys, we're gonna need some small electrical tools, maybe a pick, small pocket screwdriver, because we're gonna to need to pop these out of the side of the bed. But the first thing that we're gonna do, or I'm gonna have you guys do, is actually drop the spare tire all the way down, because if you guys can visualize, all right, here's the frame, and the tire goes in the middle. Once we take that tire down, there is a ground bolt that goes right to the frame with a, a couple of wires going to it, we want to take that ground bolt out. We're going to put our ground in, put the bolt back through, and then we're going to put the tire up. So first step, get your spare tire down now. All right, the spare tire is down. If you guys haven't watched the video on how to remove the spare tire, I'll link that in the description so you guys can see. But this is the ground bolt that you are gonna be using right here. That's what we're gonna be loosening and putting our eyelet from the harness. All right, we're gonna come back up to the top of the truck and we're right here at the light part. I'm gonna get my pocket screwdriver right there and I'm literally just gonna pop that out. Really no big deal whatsoever. I'm get it all the way around and it's gonna pop all the way out, just like that. This is where the factory light is gonna go. It's got a little bit of undercoating overlap, but no big deal. Gonna repeat the same thing for the other side. Get, get it popped up, little fingers disengaged. Just kind of, just rip it out. These are not gonna be used anymore. Can we just go behind, maybe pop the switch plate out? Yep, okay. See how I just did that? Just went right, right around and popped that cover off. We're not gonna be using those anymore. We're putting some new parts in. All right, I have unpackaged all of the Limitless equipment. This is Ford. This is Limitless. I love his work. I know homies watching, you guys snorting and snuffing over the price of his components. The time, you guys need to understand, the time that it takes to make these. This guy is not bullshitting. Factory, OE. I'm talking factory locations for trim clips. You guys, don't be buying any subpar materials on the internet. This is the equipment you need. Zero issues. First off, if you guys have noticed the quality, we are going to lay this out. Obviously, the light and the switch are very close to each other. We have two lights. One's going to snap in, and we're going to we're going to tether this Christmas tree clip to the inside of that light once we get it installed. So obviously, this is the left side. This is going to go underneath the truck. Here is our ground that we're going to be installing it's going to continue along and it's going to go over to the same side 
of the truck where I installed my DRW harness to the vehicle. Actually, I installed them, this one too, and we're gonna show you where the hookups are following the instructions. All right, what I actually did was I fed the whole entire harness down through this hole and had it come down on the ground. I plugged in the driver's side light and I plugged in the switch. I'm gonna go ahead and tether that Christmas tree clip and then I'm going to flush mount the light and the switch. All right, flushly mounted lights, looking good. I'm going to go underneath and show you how I'm gonna route the wiring under the truck. All right, so I'm laying down under the driver's side and you can see where I draped the harness all down where I was telling you. Now I am going over the frame, you guys see this? I'm gonna get zip ties and I'm going to OE secure it to this harness and I'm gonna go all the way over stopping with my ground wire right here. I'm gonna route this. We got some work being done up upstairs here on the truck. Excuse the noise, but this is where this is gonna go right here. Let's get that. We got a 13 mil. Uh, we're gonna loosen that. I'm going to leave the wire on the frame and put the bolt through and then have it secure just like you guys see here, just like this. All right, once you get the ground cable installed, it's gonna look just like that. Now the part of the harness that is hanging right here, I am going to now put forward down over here by where the dually light connector was. And I'm going to route this harness all along this harness. And if you guys notice, the part that has the two pins are gonna go to these connectors here. So zip tie accordingly, give you some slack and get this all mocked up. I'm going to do this and we're gonna see in the next shot and how the wiring looks finally zip tied. Back, we got everything mocked up, installed, zip tied. Got the harness, got the ground. Got it all over here by the dually light, and I also have it ran up the same way as we did on the driver's side, up to the passenger side light, and is already plugged in. One of the second to the last things we're gonna have to do is install these two pins here. We got a ground and a power for both our lights. That's gonna go into this factory connector. This side of the harness, the wires are already there. This side of the harness, they are not. That's why we're adding these in. But guess who's here? We got Nate. Where's DS's ugly face? What's up, oh, there DS? Is. What's up, DS? What up? All right, here are the wires that we're plugging into the harness. Let me go ahead and shut my light off so I can zoom out. We are going to be going for this connector. I want you to disconnect this connector and wait for further instructions. All right, connector's disconnected. Now I want you guys to pop this white retainer out gonna tell you guys to do is get your pocket screwdriver like this and you're gonna just kind of work it out on both sides popped it out and I'm gonna pull it all the way out now if your truck did not come with any bed lights this is an XL truck you're gonna see that there's not really many that pins in here so we're going to have to find pins 4 and 11 and we're going to be installing those i'm going to show you where those two are and what wire color you're going to be putting in now there is some black little i don't know what to call them if you guys see the blue things in there see those black dots that are in those middle of the blue things you have to pop that black pin out in order to install the pin. You guys can barely see that in there. Those black things in the middle of the blue, you gotta pop them out. So let's find out where pin four and 11 are. Right by my thumb is number one. One, two, three, four, and then 11 is gonna be this one right next to this one. I'm gonna pop these black things out and insert the pins. All right, I have popped out 
number four. You guys see there's no black thing in number four. And number 11 down here next to this pin. Pin four, you're going to insert the yellow wire. Before you insert the wire, what I used was this kind of tool part number. And I inserted it from the back and pushed on the middle. You guys can see that black missing pieces and just pushed it all the way through. So pin four is gonna be yellow, pin 11 is white. All right, when you guys are done, it is literally gonna look just like this. You guys see the cavities? Four and 11. I pushed the retaining locking tab back in and we're gonna connect the connector. I gotta squeeze that together all the way. Gonna put a little zip tie on the harness and then we're gonna go upstairs and we're gonna do some four scan programming. All right guys, the last thing we're gonna have to do is four scan programming. Now, I have a video coming out showing how to do four scan programming for all you guys that are kind of scared to do it. We also have been able to do remote programming for the guys that want nothing to do with four scan programming. Get a hold of me and we can take care of it. So Limitless has been so kind enough to tell us exactly what addresses that we need to change. This is in the body control module. If you guys are familiar with Forescan, follow along. We're gonna click on as built and we're gonna hit the play button. It's gonna prompt us that we're changing data and you could potentially mess stuff up, which you can, uh, but you just wanna make sure you're going to the right address. So we are looking for the first one, 726-4601. Keep scrolling down. 4601, okay, this is our address right here. We have 12 characters. So right now we have a zero right here. That's 6400. We need to make that 6401. The 64, zero, I don't know what the 64 is, but we're just gonna be changing this to a one. So it's 6401, and then we're gonna hit write. I'm gonna write it. It's gonna have us do a key cycle. I'm gonna to wait to do the key cycle afterwards. Now we're gonna go down to the next field, 726, 7101. 7101, here we are, right there. 726, 7101. Instead of a zero here, I'm gonna hit right. It's gonna tell us to do a key cycle. Okay, I'm gonna to wait to do my key cycle. The last one we're going down to is the 726-8101. And we need to put a two here and a one here. So it's a zero, two, zero, one instead of all zeros. And we're gonna hit right. Now this is the last thing we're gonna have to do for installation. We are going to go ahead Hey, cycle that key for me, turn it back on. Are you doing something? Hell yeah, I'm doing something. And then we're gonna hit, okay. Now, this is the moment of truth, everybody. Lights installed, four scan programming done. Check it out, freaking A, we got lights, everybody. And you turn them off and they go ahead and dim down. Freaking awesome, I love it. It is also I'm going to turn on the cab lights. Right now they're not turning on obviously because both doors are open. If you guys do not have a vehicle equipped with factory bed lights and you want to install them, make sure to check out Limitless Auto Works, LLC.com for your electrical needs. You guys have to check them out, no lie. Tell me what you think about this installation in the comment section below. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll see you guys all next time. See ya!